Um, you have both of your anchors up in the front. You guys can drop those. Just make sure that you pick them back up before you take off again. As far as storage goes, there's storage underneath all of the seats. Um, the ones under the seats, we can't guarantee that anything will stay dry. Uh, but the dry compartments are under the headrest here, under all three. That. and make sure that all of the gates are closed and latched while the boat is in motion. All right, so the key goes in here, and then this little wrench thing goes under this red dot here. This is the kill switch. Um, to start the boat, the boat has to be in neutral at the throttle, and then the kill switch has to be in here. Um, your prop should already be in the water. If you accidentally bring it back up, just push it back down until it's all the way in the water using these buttons here that say up and down. On the throttle, you have forward, neutral, and reverse. All right, so these buttons here are for your lights. If you flip these two on, if you have an overnight or when it starts to get dark on the lake, and then just make sure that they're back into the middle position turned off when you do stop the boat. Um, the radio switch is here, it turns on the radio. Um, you can flip through the modes. If you wanna do Bluetooth, um, go to the screen that says Bluetooth, and then click three to pair. Make sure that your radio is also turned off when you park the boat. Uh, there's a map of the lake here. All of the dark blue are marked idle zones. All of the light blue is open water. They're also marked by the white cylinder buoys out on the water. When you are in an idle zone, we recommend that you go about a thousand RPMs. Just don't create a wake behind you. Uh, we do have GPSs on the boat, so if you are speeding through an idle zone, it's going to start beeping at you and it's not going to stop until you slow down. We also ask that you guys stay at least 200 feet from shore all times. You cannot beach the boat and you cannot tie up with anyone else. While the boat is in motion, make sure that everyone is seated. All, right, all of your life jackets are going to be in this back compartment here. Um, adults don't have to wear them, they just have to be on the boat. Children 12 and under do have to wear their life jackets at all times. We have two different types of life jackets. These are the May West and then these are the Ski Vests. The ski vests have to be worn on the tube at all times. You cannot wear these May West vests. You have to wear these, the ones that clip in the front and then zip up. These are our kids' life jackets. If you need different sizes than the ones that we give you, just let us know and we'll get you the right size. All right, so you have a ladder back here. You guys can use that whenever. Just make sure that you lift it up before you take off again. Also, if anyone is ever swimming around the boat, getting on and off of it or getting on and off of the tube, make sure that the boat is turned off at the key. If you want to bring the canopy back, just release the buttons on both sides. Whenever you're ready to take off, just unclip the boat right here and put it on the dock. Whenever you're done with your rental, just pull it into the gas dock on either side, pull it up with gas and charge you guys for as much use.